watu ni normal term ni it is too much yeah. too much kula chakula mingi na chakula level huh. yes assassin <laughs> <laughs> no, unaifungia hapo <laughs> Kisisi tuingie tukiingia. Twende tuingie. Aya. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome again for another episode right here Live Nation. Today is a fun session. We are not going to be strict and on anything. Uh with me today in studio is one guy, a very passionate guy, a friend of mine who we known each other for a quite a specific time but we've learned so much from each other and I celebrate this brother of mine. Uh I will not introduce the name I'll give him the chance to introduce the name so that you get to know him and hear the voice also and apart from that he's a guy of many art and talents and a guy who is given in different gifts and he's going to share with us the major majority of gifts that he's having and uh, why did he choose to follow these paths and right away without wasting much time let me introduce my guy Mr The only name I know right now that I'll use is Dominus, DJ Dominus. Yes. So, let me keep it there. Those in Guinea, you're going to tell us. Welcome. Yeah, thanks. Mm-hmm. Thanks for the invitation. Mhm. Um Dominic Moshiri. Yeah. By my birth names. DJ Dominus mm-hmm. is a stage name. Okay. Yeah. DJ Dominus come from Dominic. So it comes from Dominic and then there was a time, you know, growing up you love yeah, one way or another you have to love music eh? mm-hmm. so there's an artist by the name Angie Martinez do you mm. know Angie Martinez not really so yes. <laughs> <laughs> there's an artist by the name Angie Martinez if you had kama uh, ulikuwa unapenda hip hop mm is an uh, uh, hip hop artist and i think right now she's working for Power Radio mm-hmm. at, uh, in new york so ude malikuwa ni bamba sana eh so the the ne- second name is Martinez. Mm-hmm. So Dominic Dominez. Mm-hmm. Yes. Kind of guy click right click cut the, paste. Hey, cut paste. Can get the Dominez. But that that name iko na iko na ile base. Mas ke ile u for original. Ajis. Dominez. Ajis. DJ Dominez. Mas ke me pan. DJ Dominez. Na unajua ukiweka kwa computer when you are somebody was making me the jingles. Mm-hmm akiweka ilikuwa ina kama dominis dominis if you write it down it's dominis but pronunciation is dominis dominis like the way kikuyu names are eh? mm-hmm. you know i'm moshiri mm-hmm. so if you write moshiri utaandika aje mo ama mu mtu akifuata matamchi tatumia matamchi utaandika mo mo but apparently ni m u yes na c s ni c c yes <laughs> Initially kitabu nilikuwa changanikiwa writing kikuyu yeah. names. Yes. Nasikia uh, Shiko. Shiko. Wanjiko. Wanjiko. Eh. Yeah. Ndio hiyo jiko hapi. Eh. Yeah. Wanije. <laughs> so it's yeah. it's it's quite you have to understand how it flows. Yes, yes. So So how did you discover these passions which actually are going to mention some of them these passions how do they come about because they are covering about passions and diversification in in your field of interest so we start from which passion passion your passions there are so many so we start with which one because there are so many Let, let's start with the uh, dj dominus music yes from my childhood mm-hmm. loved music i think nilikuwa na pembelezwa na muziki yes so primary i loved music when i went to high school i mm. was even running away to i was in the seminary but there was almost becoming a priest eh? mm-hmm. so i was in st joseph seminary molo my dad thought I w- that i would become a father mm. when i told my father was a pema yeah he go father priest bless you ndio hiyo sasa but i remember there was a time to look out na toroka ikitu ilikuwa inakufuata lakini unakimbia yes. and then unajua ile maisha high school mm-hmm. kuna watu walikuwa wanabeba food stuffs mm-hmm. unakumbuka visit in day mm-hmm. mimi nilikuwa nabeba radio na maia phones ndo nilikuwa naziuza unaweza kwa shule eh. 
Radio Dubai to those, to those small caribi unajua mm-hmm. zamani ni hii time haipo dacha nayo zamani tulikuwa na tu wacha na walkman to small radios small radio thin long yes small to thin radios eh mm-hmm. and earphones those were the things ilikuwa fm your time mm-hmm. i remember kiss fm your time ilikuwa mambo yote nikusema so you buy that caribi at 100 shillings you go sell it at 300 shillings mm-hmm. earphones unanua that bob unauza 150 mm. yes so that's the next passion business No no it was no business it was just for the love of music the love of music yes. it bought money it bought stuff yeah i those days we were burning cds mm-hmm. so in high school so na jua time entertainment you go with your collection mm. that time it was mp3 not the flash discs mm-hmm. yeah it took a while then after high school i bought my first computer mm-hmm. <laughs> I bought by the way not been bought I bought it was a Pentium 3. Mm-hmm. Have you ever seen a Pentium 3? Pentium 3. No really. I know you've seen Pentium 4. Have you seen mm-hmm. Pentium 4? 4 years, 4 years. Mama anza kuona Mac OS 3. Ah, Pentium 4. Yeah. yeah. So I... my, my first machine was a Pentium 3. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Apo ndo pia career ilianzia. Do for you to have this kind of music you needed mm. to have a good machine good machine kwa sababu unajua CD uh, nini DVD drive okay DVD players as equal essential kwa collection mimi niko nataka mm. kitu inaweza ni kia muziki mm-hmm. so i remember burning my first CD mm-hmm. nikajiuliza mbona sisi ziko na collection yangu then i bought my own machine 6k a complete desktop machine now the, those days 6k was quite a lot of money yes it bought me a Pentium 4 which was a uh, 256 MB RAM mm-hmm. no GB MB RAM yes it had a DVD drive which was unusual because those times eh, the CD drive so na kumka CD drive mhm ilikuwa CD haiko inasoma ta DVD i'm very sure you join easy maneno if it's CD hiyo time ilikuwa ile era ya floppy disk ya yeah, floppy disk you, 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 you put it pull it yes to change you seen it mhm It was how many MB capacity? It was depending. No, what was the capacity? The capa- capacity, the only one I saw, will go around 250 MB. M- Apa na we uliona kitu nyingine? A floppy disk was 1.44 MB. 1.44. Ata ingia MP3 track. Then how are you managing to put all those those music <laughs> in there? In Good question. So CD was the thing. During those days, there were no DVDs. It was only a CD. Mm-hmm. Na the biggest capacity in a CD yenye ungepata ilikuwa 650 MB. Hata si 700. 650. Yeah. But we used to use you to record that we software kama Nero. I know you've heard of Nero. Mhm. I found Nero. music player. Yeah. There's even a burning studio called Nero. Mhm. So you don't code tunatumia ku burn. Hiyo ilikuwa ina manage ku compress music into mm-hmm. MP3. Mm-hmm. So unaweza ku compress ngoma ya Yeah, like 5 MB mm-hmm. to 1 MB mm-hmm. without distorting quality. Yes. And now there's the power of passion. It breaks passion. The, it breaks limits. And the hard disk was 40 GB. <laughs> now if you put a 40 GB machine and install a software kuisha wewe. Na hiyo mtaa yetu. Hiyo mtaa yetu unajua mimi natoka mahali kuna ito bahati. Mm-hmm. I was the only person in the computer. Hata shule hakukua. Huko hapo kuibiwa. Apana, in fact I remember my dad telling me ni niiba computer. <laughs> the chief alikuwa anakuja kuandika nini? Naitwaje? Mabarua za nini? Za serikali kwetu. Mm. Yes. That is where the passion be uh, ilianzia. So DJ. Mm-hmm. So in the process of having a, a computer, mm-hmm. you know you, there are softwares eh? Mm-hmm. So Atomics, you know the virtual DJ. Virtual DJ. Yeah. I remember her the first version nilianza nayo hapo hapo mm-hmm. yes hapo ndo nilianza kujifunza nobody trained me if what just so, sampling two songs you mm-hmm. put this side a side mm-hmm. b mm-hmm. you play then you try merge you put effects the way people do them mm-hmm. yeah and now you are a, you are a world celebrated oh, dj yes but mm-hmm. international internationally known locally i'm not sure if i'm known that much locally ni ngumu support ama hapana past you know now multitasking to careers eh? mm-hmm. i mean technology mm-hmm. I'm, i'm a career person mm-hmm. and you know when you are working in a corporate world so unajua hii maneno inaitwa inaitwa je usi bridge juu nini nini eh wanakukazia juu ya 
I don't know. There, mm. there are some policies corporate mm-hmm. some. Mm-hmm. So why is it how at is do nafanya nini on the side? Mm-hmm. Yeah. They want you to go fixed. Yeah. They mm. want you if you are at work, if you're working for us, you're working for us, no any other attachments. Uh, attachments. So well, I had to lay low. But but, but passion ilikuwa. You have to uh, outsource the market. Yes. From our side. Yes. That that is powerful, but there are some people say they are maybe on 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 a limit because of those restrictions. Yes. They don't want to open business, do what they love because of at a corner restriction in your workplace, like you can't do this and that. Nalisha sign a fidavit. It starts from somewhere. First, ni passion. You need to understand ni nini unaweza fanya poa. What mm. ca- you can bring out there. By the way, you can't give out something if you don't have the passion. Kama wewe mwenyewe uipendi, mm-hmm. it's very impossible to give it out there. So kisha joke on a passion definitely mm. you build slowly mm. like me I started with a computer mm-hmm. then virtual dj and mm-hmm. those days by the way you were buying softwares mm. yes akuwa cracking my friend unajua nilinunua adobe you know adobe pdf reader mm-hmm. nilibaingi 500 shillings <laughs> 500 shillings ilikuwa pesa na nusu and i've bought a vlc at 200 shillings this is player ilikuwa z- version 0.0 what mm. yes things that we now naingia po google na download yes and those days unajua tu kuwa na mix cloud uh, facebook and everything mm. yes so you build up on your passion you start buying gadgets uh, like for me ni li buy machine then nikajipata nime buy subwoofers mm. hizo ndio hiyo time yenye subwoofers ilianza kwa na zampex then yeah i remember I had another one called sonashi mm. did you mean sonashi no yes kulikuwa na ampex kulikuwa na sayona and they also nashi na ziko na memory card mm-hmm. <laughs> it was just a speaker how do you go to a cd changer yes cd you replace you on a memory card mm-hmm. yes so i bought a speaker then i started playing in birthday parties graduation parties yeah events evo evo mm-hmm. Then after I nimemaliza high school do yeah I think I bought my first machine when I was in form 3. Mm. After I nimemaliza high school nikapata na nakapenda flani mm-hmm. I bought my I built niliunda sasa speaker ya PA. Mm-hmm. Nilienda kwa fundi. Unaona wa mafundi ambao? Yeah. Akaniundia PA system. Yaani ni venye muziki haufa iko inatosha. <laughs> to boost the career, to boost yes. the passion now, boost boost you know, boost. Boys, you have to you know <laughs> what pays the money is the sound that you have in your house. Mm-hmm. Yes. Bibi. Yeah. Sisi mas unajua kuna muziki wa mwanaume. Sasa mimi tukishindana na watu, you know kuna watu walikuwa wanaweka speakers chini ya kitanda. Mm-hmm. Have you ever done that by the? Ushago. Eh, ushago umefanya hivyo? Eh, kwa mtungi. Uliweka kwa mtungi. Ni speaker ilikuwa inaitwaje? Do you remember the speaker? The, 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 the so, na- names of the speaker or the speakers speaker well, kuna speaker na ngukia una unaitengeza bora kuna sauti unaifunika kwa mtungi unakata shimu hata uko unajua speaker gani uji okay. bora kwa ngoma na radio ulikuwa unatumia gani ah uh, sonotech sanyo <laughs> oh zile za nyumbani mimi i remember before the ufa came mm-hmm. nilikuwa natumia radio za gari sasa kama hujatumia radio za gari my friend bado hujapitia hii stage iko kwa boom boom bado unatumia radio ya gari those days there was a radio i know you know the car stereo systems mm-hmm. there was a car stereo ilikuwa inaitwa atec mhm yume pata na mali pata tu jina mali ilikuwa famous na equalizer kama ukuanga hiyo stage ya eh au oh, ilikuwa hapo mbele ilikuwa eh, na equalizer it was the thing mm-hmm. see easy matach say easy unajua say easy is everything is all about android mhm hiyo ilikuwa equalizer ukiwa na the more the equalizer the better yeah so me was using an atec radio mhm Then you siku za ma speakers za mtungi mm-hmm. watu walikuwa wanaeka either kwa mtungi ama kwa nyungu kwa nyungu ama wengine wanaeka kwa ceiling ama wengine wanaeka kwa sky blast mm. sasa mimi nilienda nikaondisha hiyo box kama ile yenye na house pa yes mm-hmm. the bigger box I, had, i remember the speaker ilikuwa payo the, my first pioneer mm-hmm. yes 12 inch na radio gari mm-hmm. and an, a locally built amplifier hakuna i remember that took me to the chief mimi tulikujua jo yeah, majirani yeah. kutustaki haina limits ni blast blast we were blast and we were blasting usiku na mchana ile mziki nilikuwa nayo nilikuwa custom wa chief yes i was those time nilitafuta na chief kwa sababu tulikuwa tunasumbua neighbors and then watu walikuwa nakuja kusherekea huko mm-hmm. yeah 
So you did you require the supply of PA yes. system? No, I was not the supplier. That Ora was the sound. Ilikuwa na sherehe huko. Yes. Ju nilikuwa na sound heavy kama ya matatu. Mm. Yes. Wow. <laughs> that led to sasa after you era. Mm-hmm. So you era ilikuwa ga ya radio za mitungi. So the nini hadi wale the guys who use those sound systems mm-hmm. ile za gari. Mm-hmm. Because they are powerful by the way and mm-hmm. they are very like nindogo mm-hmm. as compared to the sound systems za nyumba. Na unajua sound system za nyumba zingine ni kubwa but most of them are azina nini output power. Output power. Mm-hmm. Anyway, definitely urge iliendelea. Iliendelea. So tukaenda kampo. Wezi bebana kampo na mtungi. Mhm. era nyinyi ilienda kampo ndo maufa zilianza. And I remember the brands zenye zilikuwa hiyo time ilikuwa Ampex and Sonashi. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, so there was Ayona, Sonashi and Ampex. I remember I had a, a Sayona. Mhm. Haikuwa na flash, but ilikuwa ina chuna. It was a 6 inch speaker. Mm-hmm. Yes. So passion yangu ya speakers pia ikaanza hapo. Yes. But already you had Chains created speakers. Ulikuwa umeanza ku create your own pioneer. Yes, that was. Sasa unajua imagine listening to a 12 inch pioneer. Unataka kuniambia utatosheka aje na muziki ya 6 inch. So those days kitu yenye ilikuwa ina hit ilikuwa unajua speakers when you buy speakers eh mm. there was the 2.1 system mm. it means iko na mids mbili mm. and the sub hiyo mm. time watu walikuwa na kimbilia zenye ziko na mids kama tano yes so nakutamsea meka nika sound system kila kona mm-hmm. kwa hao sasa mimi si kwa natafuta mimi kwa natafuta kitu kiko na bass kubwa hivi i don't even mind the bid mm. bora ina sumu what may feed the passion yes. he may yes. feed the passion to the fullest yes. And and uh, how how has been like that journey to you right now kiangalia back Hey I don't know <laughs> <laughs> Hey I don't know I've done a lot cuz I've bought a lot of stuff Currently as we speak mm-hmm. I have my own complete PA system mm-hmm. I can let out mm-hmm. um, by the this year that is the plan that I have now I'm going out mm-hmm. cuz Last year kurudi nyuma I was in a, nilikuwa kwa job flani yenye ilikuwa inachukua most of my time I was yeah. working yeah. usiku na mchana mm-hmm. shifts mm-hmm. so it was so hard to do an event mm. yeah but now currently where I'm working at least I have all the weekends yeah yes so the first thing that I did I bought uh, a complete PA system and mm. not just a normal PA kama hizi nyenye watu wananua za kanisa mm nunua kitu kitu na nusu just buy speakers you go to luduli you buy normal speakers yes so i bought the ps speakers the passion came from these big brands like homeboys mm-hmm. or uh, more sounds mm-hmm. so you unajua ukiwa na passion unataka ku understand how so anatumia nini gani because another thing i'm that kind of a person who doesn't like spending because of spending mm-hmm. and nowadays unaenda unanua kitu after two days umepata kitu better mm So to avoid that it's best you buy the best yeah, margin, once and for all. Yeah, every day. Yes. Mm. So currently uh, as we speak niko na sound system nzima kwa nyumba. Uh, the kind of sound that I'm using in my house. Mm. I never it can tell it all. <laughs> See mami tungi though. It's just on another level. It's crazy as if my parent mm-hmm. mi babangu akaweza tembea kwa kwangu mm. anaweza sema nimeruka na kichwa. <laughs> because I've invested on sound on sound yes oh, wow. you see there you guys have big screens mm-hmm. you know in Nairobi you can have TV a 75 inch na kwenye mnatumia 24 that is crazy your mom comes and then ananza kushtuka kwa nini mtoto wangu alifanya nini mm. yes passion oh wow. so how, <laughs> uh, how do you balance adabu muongeo muongea na passion you've yeah. spoken with passion and yes. then niko nitango baffled it's because it's a journey mm. so for now from an events perspective because the uh, sound many peleka events yeah currently dj mm. i love music eh? mm. and the easiest way because i'm jump packed with a lot of activities the easiest way for me to relax is music music yeah reset button so you make sure you have if you're using earbuds you have to have serious earbuds kama wewe na joko nazo but mm. how much ah sta mention sema tu kwanza sultano sema what what is the model of your earbuds Mo- model of my earbuds are F- fpm you see those, which kind of brand is that now those are just for the cycling 
Oh, it is no, a, for the cycling, you buy an Oremo. It's even better you buy an Oremo speaker. There's a car Oremo speaker that is, you know, we say cool, eh? Oh. I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> no. yeah. So, yeah, in, in line to that, you know, Kuna all out on Azanga something and they give up. Yes. After before, as they go on a stem, mm. they give up before the leaves come out. Yes. <laughs> what will you tell somebody like that? They give up, Aji Sasa. Like, assuming you are. Uh, be, want mm. to become a DJ like mm. you and mm. I, and uh, by the beginning of your journey, mm. not only like there is no support, one thing you should know, mm-hmm. and uh, maybe you are struggling financially. You mm. have the passion, but you cannot skyrocket it. How like. you start? Eh? Mm-hmm. There are many ways of starting. Eh? First, you need to understand your passion. You talk about you know mm. some the problem with today's uh, when it go Gen Zs. Gen Zs. I've never understood why they are called Gen Zs. But the problem with today's society, ni wana kimbilia kenye kitu inye ni right. Mm. Na waji penye hao inye wamefika penye wamefika, the journey that they have, they have gone through. Mm-hmm. So, uneza kutamina play vizuri, then wanze kujisema, ah, tamina wanze kujisema, ah, hii neza fanya. Mm. So, it has to start from somewhere. Yue mdo mwenye, as much as uneza enda upende kitu flani, mtu wanafanya, mm-hmm. usikize domine za kiplay hiyo kitu lazima uende ni kitu unafaa conceptualize eh? mm-hmm. so kuna njaro mbili you can either roll with these guys who are doing unajua ukitembea na mwizi unakuwa mwizi unakuwa mwizi kama un, umeona DJ flani anakunize na uko na capability ya kumfikia mm. anzia hapo enda uone tu unajiangalia watu wa kidance you on the booth mm-hmm. yes unategikia tu hapo hapo karibu understand these guys wanafanya nini wakati wako job unauliza by the how much is this how can you start mm. stuff like that because it's an expensive affair especially in media mm-hmm. buying those gadgets mm-hmm. see jokes mm-hmm. but somebody wanna become a dj the easiest of all no no computer give it to other na virtual na squeeze computer ni how much at 15000 una bada 15000 at 6000 yes. just buy a machine a laptop or a desktop mm. either usijali nini nini install a virtual machine virtual machine in edwaji virtual virtual dj atomix yeah mm-hmm. it's free yes and practice from there practice you don't have to be taught by somebody there is a lot of tutorials and for your information you can download virtual mm-hmm. you could get instructions on, the, on how and how you can use that application mm-hmm. yeah unaanza tu kujifunza pole pole acha kuweka effects you know mm-hmm. the problem with people i've taught people by the way mm-hmm. using virtual by the way me if i was to teach you by need dj you have to know kwanza before tufike ni kufunze mashini mm-hmm. lazima uko na job virtual hapo ndo nitakutestia mazi kama ujui kitu yote hata tuizi tuizi ongea because yeah. virtual dj hiyo system unaona virtual djs is around 70% serato mhm yes or nini ama hizi applications nyingine au so natumia the whole of it yes no people are people are quick to to see the big machines yes. they want to lay hands on the big machines and a lot of dj's use those big machines that they know nothing mhm mtu anagonganisha muziki ka back to back some of them wanacheza vlc hapo kando na media player you, you know these things but mm-hmm. how many dj's are good in these things very few yes. i love some other dj's they wanna be dj's wana the niki effects ndo mambo yote ndo kusema nini hizo mabitu na yake effect hadi kwa worship ikibamba sana wabindu na pasua ma glass hapo eh hizo manini is not about i think everybody who loves music is all about harmony flow mhm muziki yani synchrony harmony flow harmony yes and then another target by the way you see tapped especially for those who want to become DJs acha kufikiria venye utaenda kuchezea wale hivi Mm-hmm. Good music is sober music. Ebu imagine ukeza kuona spinia mtu mokorino hivi. Mm. Unajua mokorino ni mwenye anako spiritual. Mtu mwenye ako spiritual but uweze ku entertain full time. Yes. Like unaweza entertain mtu sober. If you can be able to entertain a sober person na kuambia ume. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But easy music is Jesus kisa kwa club. Most of them is uh, Seasonal, seasonal music. It's not even seasonal. It's under the influence. And don't talk about alcohol influenced. Huh? Influence of alcohol. The influence of alcohol makes you think that you are a super DJ. Mm-hmm. Yes. So a craft that is genuine should be done on a sober mind. Yes, and that is the reason why me my target was all along radio. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because you have to be sober. You can't play on radio. Leave alone being sober. People who are listening to the radio, ni wanyo wanasikiza wakienda job. Mm-hmm. 
ushio na mtu anasikiza radio hadi akilewa wapi people goal ni sent watu wanataka club kusikiza muziki mostly people go drink mm-hmm. then they are influenced by the music but most of the radio, the music that plays in the radios eh, inakuwa gani more of sober mm-hmm. yenye unasikiza ukichill mm-hmm. ukifanya kazi mm-hmm. ukienda job ya ukitoka job it has to be good music and how do you manage to juggle in between your career now and your passion in between i unwind by listening to music or playing music mm. so it's very easy if i'm tired i can just slot 30 minutes you and if sasa zingine jukazi inakuwa mingi you can even spin at night you know you kitu unapenda it's, it's equally it's, in it's equivalent to sleep mhm naweza amka saa 8 juu ya ngoma fulani ime click ikipata na spin yes passion and it and it just flows flows you know, you, know uh-huh. you are you we are like in the same field uh-huh. in that um, yes we are dj uh-huh. i'm a dj in, in media uh, i mean you media also, also. Yeah. Uh-huh. uh you like passion about cycling i'm there because yes, I, i like cycle. cycling you like no, manu, we, i'm a i'm a, I'm a novice, eh? you are like, a pro we like we like sweating the people like sweating because i wonder how can somebody finish one week without sweating depends <laughs> 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 sweating how How, how can you finish a week without sweating so define sweating is it that uh, you mean by like excreting the waste from the body through the skin open the skin pores by sweating true but i don't think ni vijipata in to cycling because of sweating no you need you need to at least sweat but apart from just pumping your muscles and uh, engaging yourself there you need to sweat at least it's healthy maybe for a man Maybe for a man. Yeah, is is healthy. I do I do like that. Where did when did where did your passion for cycling start? My passion for cycling is inherited. I took it from my grandfather. What? Yeah, my grandfather is at 95 years right now but he still cycles. A black Mamba. Black Mamba. One gear na jua ni gear moja. Ai na kwa gear moja. Na napanda mlima vizuri. I went uh, one time I went with my girlfriend to home. And I was I was telling her to kioko gari my grandfather still cycles. Mm. And the funny thing is tukishuka kwa basi hivi walking towards home na kutana naye kuja shopping center na bike. <laughs> She couldn't believe it. Yeah. It was evident in front of her. Yeah. Mm, I was not telling you fictions. When upata ameka kwa kiti ame relax then useme it was stories. Oh, yeah. So it's He still cycles. He still cycles to date. 95. Wow. Very strong actually you can't utajua is 95 person. Okay. Very very strong. Alikuwa anapenda muziki ile atulie tu radio tambao. Alikuwa radio ambao how did you know? See that is where your passion came from. Radio you know I'm gonna radio ambao iko hapo until date is still play. Eh na battery sita. Eh hapo yenyu ilikuwa bahati. It will go be yeah my great actually secret see grandfather great grandfather mm. alikuwa na hiyo ambao ilikuwa na petri mbili and if you are keen enough kwa sababu you know another thing unahitaji kuwa ndio uko passionate mm-hmm. you have to be you have to have an eye of everything no detail unaweza kumbuka ilikuwa inashika frequency gani hiyo radio ya grandfather mostly alikuwa kwa kbc No no si KBC si I'm not talking about channels the frequency unajua time ilikuwa kulikuwa na kuna kwa gana nini FM AM what else ah yengine si si sasa <laughs> in the in the analog radio mm-hmm. you know that is analog radio by the way mm-hmm. but radio, today is not picking those systems yeah analog radio is FM is a frequency mm-hmm. AM or AM ilikuwa ni tako pia MW midwave mm-hmm you go all about frequency eh? by the way you know frequency ni kama shamba mm-hmm. it's normally sold by kuna watu wamezinunua alafu wanaziuza wanaziuza so you to start a radio station you have to get a frequency sasa hiyo time ya wa, 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 nini grandparents wetu mm-hmm. ilikuwa short wave kama ile ya radio police ile ile over over talkies hiyo my grandfather ilikuwa ka short wave 6 na 4 mhm yes unasikiza hivi dakika tano ile inafunga na bidi umeenda to the next station. Ilikuwa inatumia battery mbili na zimefungwa na ngozi ya ngombe. Mhm. Zaingia hapo ndani. Kamwambia Il... niuzie 10,000 shillings hiyo radio ni kaange nao kama unajua ni umeishi kutaka ku create vitu za zamani hivi kaki kivintage hivi alikataa. Are they the majors are close to heart. 
it, it holds a lot of memories yes, for them. I needed that for my like my grand, granddad yake ilifungwa na paper. <laughs> Inatokanga na new paper ikichangiwa battery. Uh, Narudi hapo. So uh, it's it's like new yeah. but it's old. And if you happen to give him the new model is taka. Mhm. Ile tu, ile tu. So, hata mimi passion yangu ilianzia hapo. Uh, I have a passion for old stuff. Mm-hmm. So vitu za zamani pia zilikuwa ga. Unakumka kinanda? Mm-hmm. Uh, the Santuri. Uh, Santuri. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's still the at home also. Yenye inafanya kazi ama ni Inafanya. Baada iko kwa karatasi na toka ange kipanguzo inarudi hapo. Kuvujika kale ka ka stick or those line then it rotates. Ah. Ikiisha una I love speaker mko na tuwinyi na kaa hivi kile kitu kinakaa kwa gharama. Kaka ile ku introduce polio. Eh. Unaweza kumbuka album moja yenye ilikuwa kwa Santuri? Siwezi kumbuka but mimi nakumbuka. Tulicheza na hizo mama disc sana sisi. Kuna ngoma fulani album eh sisi tulikuwa na Santuri home. But I remember you my dad pia alikuwa askiza alikuwa mtu reggae na gospel. Mm na kumkingo ma Paulo na Sila yeah. <laughs> iliko kwa Santuri Paulo na Sila kwa Santuri and then yeah. there, there was another famous song which one uh, this ilikuwa gospel song yeah. but this this was a was a kinamunishi type oh eh kinam eh, ilikuwa nani by the way sinile era ya u jamaa alikuwa anaitwa nani he died a cost guy ama si huyo Shari, Shari Martin somewhere I was him kumbuki. Those those guys around all corner hizo. Yeah. And then there are Rafiki Pesa thing. Oh, yeah, song yeah. that. Alikuwa ni Ronaldo. I don't know. Niliku... That song. He will call my father's Pesa. favorite I think. <laughs> <laughs> those ones. Ni bwana umekumbuka mambo ya zamani. So yeah. So that that live was quite interesting. Our passion in all stuff. Yes. Um, I always wish Kenya Gerudish were at least to to pay one Back week one week to revise that old school roads, old school whatever. And another thing because you've been asking what you can advise uh, for these guys who want to become DJs and stuff. It's essential you you just understand what happened in the past. In the past. The yes. past is is the biggest encyclopedia. Yes understand how these guys were doing it that is the reason why we still hear the likes of Kina Tupac and Biggie mm-hmm. notorious BIG had you alone and hear timeless music mm-hmm. yes so the timeless music yes. they don't have a, a, a short season yes like. they need to understand if they are shooting a video they look at those times unajua hiyo siku ilikuwa ku dance you remember break dancing eh mm-hmm. watu walikuwa wanavunjika mifupa mm-hmm. of, because of break moves now this is all about blings so Cladin, ladies uh, what was chano na wa, by then ashuku in the coming days was chano atakuwa kibango kwa video kuna joto hata sumana maana vile kumekuwa hapana unajua siku hizi wana va thong <laughs> wana dance na thong na mabra hivyo ndio imefika siku hizi zamani ilikuwa na vaamini mm-hmm. ilianza na mini na ilikuwa abomination yeah, ilikuwa abomination but walikuwa na ngaramini then wana slay sasa hizi wanaenda wakitoa kabisa mm. so it makes me wonder in the coming 10 years ama 20 years what will happen watakuwa kimbo uchi ama itakuwaaje maybe tunarudi eden <laughs> so anyway they have to go back to the basics yeah pole pole tena rush mhm asi rush you were speaking about uh, before even we began we are sharing about success and good success yes maybe somebody you can expound to somebody to understand that it's aspect. biblical there is success and there is the good success I don't know which verse it is but it's among us the principles of making it in life. Mm. Yeah. For you to make it in life there are some principles that you have to follow. Mm-hmm. By the way, mm-hmm. ku serve Mungu mostly si kuomba peke. Mm. Kuna principles. You know people fail to understand you are two in one. Yeah. What do I mean by saying you are two in one? Wewe ni mwili and you have a spirit inside you. So what does that mean it means there is no way to know here by the is it between bodies and only by spirit see body connected spirit yes mm-hmm. because if if body is nini kama watu wako alive no if body is spoke uh, is in what we we kufa huo ange they don't yeah so it means kuna bodies mbili hapa hivi zenye ziko na spirit mm-hmm. it means spirit ndo zi ongea lakini mtu mmoja amekufa as as in a spirit mm-hmm. so no usili what tuna tuna nini tuna concentrate on the 
physical life. The physical. But we don't concentrate on the spiritual what life. What is visible. So the good success in a, in a kwaga spiritual. You need to have to, to work on your principles on mm. having the good success. You only mm. one. Mm. Do as a excel in a lot of aspects. Everything in a kwaga tu kifuata tu principles as a godi. Mm-hmm. Everything has to be because the world do not know. Is it now the success? To me, some kuna success not the good success. The good success. Success ni yeye tu na kimbili atu. Connections, hongo, ni seasonal. Mm-hmm. The good success ni yele ni manza from scratch. Growing slowly. Slowly. Learning. Una tegemea mungu. Mm-hmm. Correction. Una anguka. Una rudi. Resilience. Mm-hmm. Ivo. Right. So. I'm going to cut you short for a minute mm-hmm. and we are coming back to talk about diversification yes. as young guys. Sasa. Yep. We back. Eh? Yeah, we are back. Another Let's body. pick from there. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. You are I was to ask you about diversification because uh-huh. uh, some of us nekanga all eggs in one basket. And uh, the danger side of that is that your basket is a bio. Na watu na the alafu what do you, what would you say about as a young guy to diversify in different things i've seen you do different projects mm-hmm. and one of them you took me there physically and it's a good big project yeah and it was a challenge to me also as i was there in that field <laughs> what project was that that big challenge <laughs> that big project <laughs> buying buying a, a parcel of land in a prime place in a prime place because yeah. it was so calming yeah. <laughs> you know uh situlizaliwa mm-hmm. you know for you to reach letter z lazima uanze na a b c yeah respect your age tuanze hapo yeah ukiwa 18 i'm not saying ukiwa below there's no way a 10 year old person anaweza fanya vitu zenye mso at that years ago mm-hmm. ni, ni pole pole tu step at time but the best thing you can do for young guys who wanna grow wanafanya ma vitu because you can see all of these things eh kwa mm-hmm. tv mm-hmm. gari zenye mse ana drive nini nini in fact even women do you know kuna watu wanzaga kwa admire hii naweza taka kujipata hivyo mm-hmm. ni kitu it's good to have those wishful there are wishful thoughts mm-hmm. yes but when you're in school just be in school be in school yes kama uko shule let me tell you you know how difficult it is working mm. and unafanya kazi on this yani unafanya unasoma na bado uko kazi mm. yeah and you know nowadays in this current world you need a side hustle mm-hmm. yes imagine multitasking those three things it's so difficult then kidogo 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 uko na familia mm-hmm. so if you in school if you in school just perfect when you in school you know in school is all about studies ma games lazima una unajua kucheza kitu moja basketball hiyo ndo time ya kujua hizo vitu discovery yeah ukitoka nje sasa you pick courses by the time uko shule at least utakokijua you have some slight idea of what you want mm. yeah pick courses i see people doing packages driving though didn't recommend vitu kama packages mm. because utapata nazo tu kampo sasa hapo ndo unaenda unafanya some courses vitu dogo dogo then pia hii inategemea on how you are raised mm-hmm. yeah because kama una mzazi mwenye hayuko informed ama ako tu ako tu you, you know some of us penye tumetoka wazazi wetu wanaamini zile vitu za zamani mm-hmm. wanataka tu watoto wao kuwe pilots doctors Medical lawyers doctors, eh. mm-hmm. na sio mimi mzazi nataka kuwa tailor yeah, ni designer there are guys who are famous like fundi frank na ni tailor designers mm. yes sasa it's even problematic in this current generation kwa sababu maze unapata mtu huyu anakuambia unaanza tu kuona an admire mm. an admire photography mm-hmm. yes an admire photography ama ama am, unapita train hivi atinataka kuwa train driver imagine mtoto wako akikwambia anataka kuendesha train hata unaweza mchapa <laughs> damn shipi <laughs> yeah. But anyway so this he was me like me I have a, I have a, I have a kid. Mm. So he nataka gatu na una monitor ni nini anataka. Some of it na kuaga from DNA. Oh lipenda bike mm. na maybe ni DNA ilienda all the way the mm. bloodline. Mm. So unaangalia ni nini ako na passion na ukipata mtoto anafanya hivi mziki kicheza kwa nyumba. Mm. Unajua eh hey, akaka mtu kaneza unasumbua na earphones. Mziki. Eh yeah. maybe ameanza kuchokora computer. Mm. That is another direction. 
ako kwa gari anataka kuguza guza you start yeah. monitoring then akiwa akienda shule hivyo unaenda inaenda kiki change au ulianza kusema utakuwa daktari by the time una maza form for unataka kuwa mwalimu mm. so flexibility how to be flexible uh, unaenda tu hivyo then you do one thing at a time yeah when one is established then move the next you move to the next your because portfolio. Doing, yeah doing them at a go is it's hectic it's expensive yeah mm-hmm. the combination of problems and at the, at the end of the day unataka zi manifest zikuwe pesa mm. you see you can't be a jack of all trades but today today the gen z microwave mm-hmm. generation we want the quick fix that is where the problem is and that's what no pata ya bnb is naja na makesi they don't want to follow the process everything is a process becoming a dj is bec- it's a process anything like career ukiona mtu wa it ana hack ama mm. anafanya vitu mm. it's a process alianzia mahali kuwa ready to kwanza from scratch mm. kubali ufunzwe pole pole tu and some of these things by the way you pay for them mm. Lakini ukipata mtu anakuoffer kukufunza pole pole take those skills hivyo tu very serious ama unakaribia let's say they are doing these things eh mtu anakukaribia tu anaona venye unafanya hizi connection inaanza gaivo mm. pia be ready kufanya vitu for free you know one way of making it in life ukitaka kuandikwa hizi jobs ni watu wanatafuta mm. endo fanye for free volunteer. nani atakuandika for free six months hata hataka hivi aone anafanya the wrong thing mm. volunteer you get the skill <coughs> then you get used to that skill kidogo kidogo unastukia unaabsorbiwa hivyo mm. tu passion ukwena hiyo nini eh, patience mm. yeah problem is wao wanataka ku earn big money yes. without experience ndio maana wanaenda nini nadhani wana register hata hizi mavitu tunasikia sijui mara wanataka kuingia illuminati ama sijui nini big money forex mm. yes uh, 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 we want to climb a ladder fast and crash fast yes. Uh, that's the biggest problem with the following wana wengine wana follow hii nini au maseleb wenye tunaona tu kwa tv wenye how some them live alive you don't know their background their story yes and and you know the worst success is success without a story yes you just woke up and you became rich yes. famous yes. what is your story where are your yes. scars yes what can we learn the from process. you process yes and you can't live somebody else life Siezi kuwa naona mazee umeshika Benz, umebuy Benz moja kali, alafu mm. sasa mimi nianze kukimbishana nayo. Mm-hmm. You're not in the same race. No your limit. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know me I have a bro, let me tell you like a story eh? and I don't fear saying it live. Mhm. Mimi niko na bro. Umetoka tu shule juzi. Mhm. Yaani jamaa ananiambia ati bro. Eh? Eh unaweza ni buy viatu? Hata before malize kuchat. Mm kuna sneaker fulani nimeona 3500 man that hata uridi ashaanza dictate do mimi unajua nimeanza kungara via tu sneakers <laughs> last year hata zigo zinafika 3500 kwa sports shoes uridi yeye anataka kungara hiyo kia tu mimi nimeishi kungara via tu za 200 to 500 shillings hizo maraba za always a maraba kind of a guy mm. yes anataka tu kuishi the the flashy life the flashy life imagine so you want me to help you by shoes sneakers kwanza the best hadi mm. unaniambia the, the nini you know if you want help unakuja tu pole pole unaniambia by the eh, sina viatu mazi unaweza ni jenga ka kitu ni buy then mimi naweza ka hivi niseme nitakupea dhau wende utafuta ndio sasa wende ujue kinyo utafanya mm-hmm. yeah but somebody comes to you the so called uh, gen z's eh? gen z's anakuja na anakuambia want to look young and rich but with nothing nataka hivi na hivi eh they are not ready for the as in oko ready kupitia hiyo process ya kwa kwa ya kitu yes ndio yeah, watatembea mgutupu so they yeah. don't understand this stuff eh yeah. ama unakuta sister yako ama bro anakuambia umbai ya phone unajua an expert umbai iphone mm. are you ko ready kwa tuletu phone toba nini it's crazy i had somebody akitaji phone ya 120 na imagine one sister yako mwenye haja maza shule ana demand your phone that's an investment mzima nyake kwa phone yes <laughs> na ebumba hiyo phone ya dhao tatu <laughs> kabambe uone mnakosa na sif ilikuwa ni kama you know they take most of these things wanachukulia ni kama wako like entitled mm-hmm. yes Because that is where they go wrong yes. you know the problem is wewe uko wewe uko hapo juu and then they are looking up to you yes now you have to deliver also for me niko hapo juu mm. but mostly it's your responsibility kama uko pale juu una train this guy pole pole tu unawaambia 
and mostly for these Gen Zs, the hardware do in work, mm-hmm. not the software. Yeah. Wow, that's it. That's <laughs> that's it. I'm gonna just have to follow the people. I'm gonna have to follow my friend because uh, you know you do not understand time and seasons. Yes. Tomorrow you might not be there where you are. Yes. And they are the people who should survive to bring maybe restore you back to where you should be. Sure. But if they are now wasting resources and there's no management, yes, who will be responsible? You see, and you know the current generation on on uh, wastage, too hey. much. It's too much. The the TikTok generation, we want to celebrate each other. I'm telling you, and you, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I but don't the, know. the problem is people today are forgotten. They cannot define between smile and happiness. The thing that everybody who is smiling is mm-hmm. happy. Yes. Everybody who is flaunting something on social media yes. is wealthy. Yes. They have the problem. They and don't YouTube know likes. the behind the yes. scene. Yes. So, Snapchat. I don't know. But the social media guys are uh, your future. And it's a good marketing tool, but it's been open like a So, diversification. Guys should be diversifying different things. If you are joining social media because it's part of the lifestyle, mm-hmm. just look at it from how it can help you. Come on Facebook. Come on say D in any way. Mm. You're not supposed to be there. But you know nowadays, time is money. Eh? Yeah. Time is really money. <clears throat> By the way, you, 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 you've said I'm a... I like I'm a jack of mm-hmm, I do a lot of mm-hmm. stuff. Juggling it's, in between. It's, it's in the essence of eh, my monetizing everything. Si juko she juliza. Imagine ungiko na tengeneza do kilala. Una mka hivi you've made some money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is a una for reason even from that aspect. Yes. How can you make money or how can you benefit? The passive income. Leave alone the passive bit. Eh? How can you generate? whatever you want to generate is in unaweza generate do ama ikusaidie kufikia kitu fulani how can you benefit with whatever you are doing those are the questions that you are supposed to ask, ask yourself like sasa mimi unajua ukienda kitu kama instagram mm-hmm. it's all about pictures mm-hmm. unafupigia sub ya nikiingia huko itanisaidia na nini nini nataka kwenda ku showcase mm-hmm. yeah now just going to scroll it's wasted of time music vitu zimeondoza quest ya watu time but kama wewe ni kwenda kuweka biashara hapo ama kupost nini talent yako mm. no that is another thing and you know these things are for free here but yeah here ni ati you can do things for free you don't need to pay somebody to market your stuff mm. you, you can just do it and put it out there yes in the social put media it out there, share with your family mm. your friends itafika hivyo mali flani itastukia imepata mse flani ameisambaza before you realize you are Kumari, someone yeah. else yeah. Mm, that's power packed yes. uh, <clears throat> I believe ni, it's just nivletua, the youth have wamekua too much that they believe in themselves more than listening to the advice of people who mm-hmm. have gone through this remember one 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 lady friend aliambia the elder mm-hmm. who I'm working with aliambia mm-hmm. nyinyi generation yoni lipita is mm-hmm. it true and say the say ni mpya Mm. We are doing new things. Mm. Yes, it's new things, but remember life mm. does not change. Yes. Trends will change, yes. but life will still remain life. Yes. The principles of life will remain to They're be the principles same. of They're life. The same. So these are the casings, mm. technology, mm. AI whatever, it will yeah. change. Yeah. But life life life. So you see, now Gen Z unaona kama askizi mzazi wake, you expect atasikiza nani? Nobody. You know, charity begins at home. Mm. Kama kwenyu, kama kwao. Kwao peke hasikizi anyone. Mm. Sasa the beginning of failure starts from there. Yes. And what do you think is the faith aspect in all these things becoming a person? Cuz I know it plays a bigger role mm. in you becoming now complete man or a woman. <clears throat> becoming a complete man, man or a woman even if you're still on the journey mm. because there's a there's a point you will fall back and just know if it this level come as god uh, mm. as you manage hey you know i mean you get journey yangu me ni make up it here i'm old enough eh? i don't want to say my age but people like me mm-hmm. to me talk from was as humble so most of most if not all mm. 
ni vitu nimepata through friends through passion kuji associate na nini i've told you kiji associate na mwizi unakuwa mwizi mm-hmm. if you wanna be rich uki hang around na wadosi mm-hmm. you become like them mm-hmm. so me mostly jani yangu imekuwa kama mziki mm-hmm. nilikuwa na role na watu wenye wanasikiza mziki especially kenya napenda mm-hmm. dj's me i've always loved some few dj's mm-hmm. so unaangalia kenya wanafanya you follow you know you have to follow the guys who made it in life eh? mm-hmm. you have to have uh, wanaita guaje mentors mentors it kama hizo So some people like us we started from a humble background. Pole pole to kiraise. Hata kazi wais. Mm. Unakuta tu ni hard work kwa sababu mimi naangalia kwa kwetu hakuna mtu anaweza ni connect. You know some guys here wako na anafanya hivi. You know phone call. Your campus. Unajua second year vum mm-hmm. attachment. Mhm. Mimi remember time yetu tukienda atacho. Kuna dem alienda job. Mimi ilifika mwezi wa tatu atasikuwa nimepata attachment. Mm. Alafu anatoa ana mazaivi nini for there kama amepata kazi. Job. Connection. So some of us tume grow up bila hizo connections na wazazi wenye wana hizo connections so mm-hmm. inabidi umeanza like mimi sasa mimi ama night guy. Mm-hmm. But by the way before nifike venye nimefika nimefunza high school. Mm-hmm. Nimefunza colleges. Ni venye unaniona hivi nimefunza mm-hmm. high school, mm-hmm. colleges. Nimefanya flower farm. I've been in radio stations. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But somebody will pop, Nini, eh? a pop out from nowhere kuone where you are now yes. and the thing that has been one you. thing led to another. One thing led to another. I've done a lot of casual jobs. I've done nimefanya kazi hata na kumatile famous. Mm-hmm. Yes. You have to start from somewhere. If you don't have a connection because because most of was in your inje most of them are like connections. Mhm. Imaanishi wezifika just start where you are always usijifananishe na wase maze it's a battle that you can't win start small grow big and believing in what god's story about you is sasa historia mungu ndo watu waamini by the way me tell you i think she does it mm. ni venye tunafanya tunafanya vitu vice versa ama to call of small faith una dia associate where is have to masters no succeed mm-hmm. you have to choose one basa so lenye mimi ujiuliza ni au ma pastors wenye wana tu hubiri anga si unajua kuna wengine wanahubiriki kila mahali hata kwa matatu mm-hmm. mbona wengi wako agio momoka <laughs> because Mungu ametu ametu promise ukiza Mungu unajua Biblia iko na promises mingi mm. promise mm. if you are a son of uh, one of the sons of God meaning to go na inheritance mm. yenyewe promise kina Abraham Isaac Jacob. and Jacob eh hey, Abraham Why is it that eh uh, one pastors wana in here yeah, there's a difference between practicing faith and living faith yes that is the thing no that's the problem that's yeah. a distinction yeah. the people who practice faith mm. because it's something i was born into i just practice nikuamka kuomba ku read bible kupotea and there are people who live faith yes. now you no connection no nothing but i believe god story about my life will come to pass and you know most of the churches practice faith just practice it's, almost it's, 90% it's a, just a normal occurrence yes. of every day's experience and you know people go to church because people go to church mm macro rako makio calendar sunday i was yes. in church what when the church sunday you what when the church sunday now what when the church fanya nini kuimba kuomba kwenda kusoma bible okay tunafaa tuende church fanya nini to have an encounter with god It's more of a fellowship, fellowship. Uh, but worship na fa kwa daily daily yes. a lifestyle it's a lifestyle mm-hmm. yes now that's now living faith now because living in the faith. worship now you discover who you are yeah. what god wants of you yes. and what next yes but now you know sikitio ni atu pendi you want to be busy si tunajua ga kuomba tu ni sunday sato ni sherehe mm-hmm. yes monday to friday ni vera mm-hmm. yes Sunday nenda kwa na pastor. Hiyo hiyo ni myth. Nani ali create these days Monday to Friday? Miss Jona Monday to Friday kwa Biblia. That it, is where problems come. It's it's what men create to control other men. Yes. So people are following a system. It's a procedure of a system. Mm. Imagine uke okay, zafanya hizo vitu vice versa. <coughs> Things start unfolding. You just need to realize why. By this you can shake hivi chini unajiuliza mbona vitu hazi work kwangu. Hivyo mm. tu. Tazingine juulize tukaa chini why why are things not working as an individual 
as a son mm-hmm. within your own right as a son as a father as a hair as a brother as an employee or an as an employer mm-hmm. as a friend unakuta uko na ma as a friend umekuta unakuta unakosa hatuna mabisi zako as a brother mm-hmm. amsikizani na watu wenyu mm-hmm. as a son unavurugana na mzazi wewe mwenyewe kivyako hiyo e, 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 age set yako wasonyo kwa hiyo age group wameomoka wewe uko tu mhm unakaa chini unajiuliza why things not working mostly na kwa gezo principles za nini za life yeah so you start understanding the principles of life yes the position you know the problem mimi kitu moja nime realize uki kama umeamua kuchoose a god you have to choose one mm-hmm. you can't choose both mm-hmm. but ni challenge in both unaweza kuna serve mungu alafu mazuji pate kwa mezesha then upata na polisi pale vi na the only way out ni kupeana hongo what are you supposed to do now <laughs> you don't have to practice faith or live faith no way aje the only way out actually for me i found myself in different scenario of the same yes the one thing i never did is give ulifanya nini mimi nilikaa hapo afanye tu atafanya na mwisho alikuwa aniachilia naenda but i kukuestia nini nilinuestia time where i was going mm-hmm. but let me live my faith including us zone ya, ya, ya covid yeah. the mask scenario yeah. unashikwa mask unaambiwa toa 200 ama twende did you vaccinate by the uh, we got vaccinated because the company wanted us to be gave vaccinated you see now that is where you went wrong no, no. but at that point you are doing things to survive but we, we forgot about the faith aspect no, no. so i wouldn't say that you did something wrong because for me and i'm going to say it live on tv mm me never got siku vaccinated wa but in the end ni kahonga daktari akanipa sat mm eh yeah. you went straight home i don't know if it's supposed to be right or wrong is it right or wrong <laughs> <laughs> because i believe vaccination was wrong vaccination was wrong yes. and and people being uh, coerced yes. to do it it was it had a significant lazima hiyo kitu kama ile vaccination there something and it was right yes it was wrong me i'm telling you it was wrong mm. yes but me i had to cheat i cheated na nikapata sat yes there are many ways of killing a rat you can burn the house <laughs> run away run away na wishi kwa mti yes but anyway i don't know if that justifies that uh, nilifanya kitu right ama wrong But anyway it was wrong because I cheated anyway. Cheated the system. Yes. But I also had to to get out of what you didn't believe in because it we go you don't believe in if it gets into it affects you. Let me serious. ask you a question eh? Because you know it's all about faith. Mm. Uh, ukipata mse umepata watu akikimbishana hivi mtu akwambia uh, anakimbizwa na mtu anataka kumua. Mm. Um, um direct mahali then um mwingine akupate akulize ude mwenye nilikuwa nakimbiza ameona nakienda hapo mdanganye ati ameenda hii direction is it a sin the problem there is yeah. you don't know kana nataka kuuliwa ama ndo muizi no that's the confusion point but at the end of the day if you look at the scenario naona huyu mtu ana yeah. kama kwa kukumua. the same yeah. scenario yeah. It's, you can mficha yeah. then analyze the situation but i know what the point kama mtakuwa in the same environment yeah. It's a challenge man. But as long as because you never you know anger delayed yes. is like a problem solved. Yes. Mtoe kasirika sa hii um divert. Akirudi hata kwa na the same degree ya makasirika alikuwa nayo. But so, ukimwacha yeah. at the same position hata operate vile alikuwa me the voltage of anger. Are you saying anger delayed? Anger, anger delayed yeah. is problem diverted or solved? Solved. Half solved. So, Is that correct? Is it uh, is it right to do that? You Could can delay somebody's anger. Yeah, you can delay somebody's anger. You know by lying. By lying. Mm. Yes, you can to save somebody. Kana inabidi ku save muri inabidi. Save who? Save who? But now if this person dies because of you. You know two wrongs don't make a right. They don't. But no looking at the scenario. Yeah. Hmm? This is the brick of losing a life. Yes. And you can see directly he's uh-huh. going to lose a life. What what will you do? You know you're not good to decide on that. Now what will you do? Let me put you in the same shoe. No, see I'm asking because <laughs> me I'm also in a puzzle. Huh? 
I'm also in a puzzle. You know, we in the business of just doing the right thing. Mm. But then we just to make work some for you to succeed, you have to follow the principles of mm. God. Si zote mm-hmm. ziko kwa Biblia, unajua Biblia iko na everything, eh? Mm. Na anataka gracious. Na anataka nini holiness and graciousness. Mm-hmm. So, hakuna excuse ya makosa. So, so mimi nimejipata kwa kitu kama hiyo utamaliza boss. Tu a push tu amwambia ameteremka huko. Ndio yule ameenda akienda goko. Is that right ama eh ameenda ile direction? Ni gani right? Tu a push tu afuatane. For me for me I think I'll divert that. No but no. Ma unani amekuambia ume ume it, nini umekosea? It, it's wrong yes. It's a sin anyway. But my instinct will just my my faith will just tell me to to, to help this one. Me see you. <laughs> you need dilemma puzzle. Yes, that's a dilemma. And is a dilemma. Eh? Same case na unajua kwa Biblia, kwa Biblia, mm. gluttony. Gluttony ni nini? Gluttony in normal term ni eating Ula too much, yeah. Too much. Kula chakula mingi na chakula. Level. Uh. Yes. It's a sin. <laughs> <laughs> Na ifungie hapo. How do you know you've eaten too much? <laughs> na mdomo inataka. How do you know you've eaten too much? Define eating too much. I think it's uncontrolled eating. What do you mean by uncontrolled uh, eating? Uko hapa hivi umetoka na smoke, smoke cha umefika pale mayai pasu, umefika pale smoke, umetoka hapo kwa kwa chapo. Who define who decides that you've eaten too much? Hey, kuna level tafike ya kuwa too much. You are full Kujo, but kuna, you feel you want to still eat. One thing ni kushua. Kuna dhambi zingine watu hufanya na wajuangi umefanya kama hiyo. Mm. Unaweza kuta kukula sala hizo sita za loaf ni glad the, the end kawaida. Eh. Yeah. Umevuka board. So, I don't know. <laughs> Itaji revelation sasa. We need revelation. Need revelation and answer. Niambia the Holy Spirit will reveal us all yeah. things. Sasa tunamuhitaji hapa tusaidie to reveal all these things because uh, tunavukanga fence bila kujua tunavuka fence. Ndio sasa. So me believe uh, juu vitu zingine ni unknown, mm. the few of the unknown. And you know for you to survive you have to tremble ukijuaga venye Mungu anaweza fanya vitu kwa. Mm-hmm. Si hata Biblia inakuwa imesema mm-hmm. kitu kama hiyo. Mm-hmm. Mu imagine kitu ile radhi ya Mungu anaweza kuwa nao. By the way watu wanaga tu ya shetani. Unajua yeye ndiye anajua pale mesaka switch zote za hii. Yes. Akiamua ku switch lightning rutandike na Nairobi mzee rutandiko atukikimbia. Hata hizi vitu tunaona kama earthquake <laughs> venye nini inalia. Hata mende. Mende za rutaka mkia ina Nairobi. Eh. <laughs> Chana Mungu. Unaona? Hmm? So ni kuomba tu Mungu tu kila siku tu kinye ujui wenye unafanya wrong tu na every day is mm. uh, you have to nini to reconcile with God. Yeah. Uh, So as we bring it to a wrap yeah. you know we, we've shared so much yeah. uh, one one thing I'll put across is uh, what was your belief system because you know in a kwanga defined belief system when yeah. you're going through all these things belief hardship belief system eh yeah, anguni hardship 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 And what, eh. what was the attitude <sighs> I didn't say it was an attitude but the journey made me realize some of these things you know things happen for a reason mm. for you to be where you are something happened mm-hmm. Now since mimi mostly in my journey hakuna mwenye anaweza claim ati alisijua alikuja akafanya nini there's that supreme being mm-hmm. mwenye alikuwa patient na mimi you know to me ndo ufike ile age yenu uko umepitia so much mm-hmm. your youth, youthful life umechafua you've been through relations kida za high school mm. kitoroka usiku nini nini but at the end of the day you are here mm. and there are some guys who never made it mm. so sometimes unaka hivi chini tu una realize ah ju una realize by the, kama sasa hizi tuko hatuna wazazi wetu wenye walitolea mm. you know back ukiwa mtoto ulikuwa under your parents mm. right now uko kivyako una realize tu kuna some somebody a supreme being mm. when anakujali working behind the scene yes behind the scene there's somebody and once you realize life is spiritual like there's a spirit in you na kuna mwenye control hapo ndo unajua kabisa it is in a fallen eh, place yeah 
Yeah, I, be, I believe that's the epitome of everything. Yes. We can be pursuing everything in this yes. earth, but yeah. if we leave the aspect of God for who he is, yes. Yes. we are destined to fail. Yes. Totally. Yeah. Whether you are in the kingdom or out, yes. God did God and he's still supreme okay, you. at all time. Yes. What's your final take? For what? <laughs> <laughs> As we wrap up, who many go up in and go watch? I say, my oh, I've heard the story of this guy, uh. but I don't know where to start. Hey, life, life, mazi. Hey, answer to. Mm. If you have to start something, start. Don't yes. wait. Start. Don't wait. Start within yourself. Yeah. If you wanna become a DJ, just get a machine. Mm. Nowadays they are cheap. Sika mm. maizo siku. Mm. You can't get one. Unaweza you can machines are easy kila mtu anaweza afford i think hata kuna software za simu by by the way unaanza kwa phone there's a dj amekuwa kitrend anafanya vitu na from from uganda ule mwenye alikuwa anafanya vitu na na vijiko mm. yeah start from somewhere and if you can't afford these gadgets niko sure uko na rafiki mmoja mawili wako na hizo vitu mm. yeah you yes. know some serious producers hao wenye tunasikia kina claimo na wale mawaso ma, walikuwa nini wa big ile time ya zamani mm walikuwa anaenda kufanya hizo vitu kwa production houses like <coughs> hata si production houses kwa mashop anaenda anapata shop inoze instruments anaanza ku test kama ana test alafu anaunda beat <laughs> and they became and they became just because they believed in starting so start with whatever you have hiyo kidogo grow pole pole be patient mm-hmm. evo be patient na uamini tu pole passion to grow uki grow tu pole pole utafika penye unataka kufika alafu uzuri kuna social media use it well mm-hmm. acha kukaa kama watu wenye wana post tu vitu zenye hakuna to the marketplace eh yeah. imitate by this as ingine i fake it though i don't believe in that mantra at fake it till you make it mm. basa zingine unaweza fake using somebody's style unaweza nini hivyo wende ukinuka tu pole pole then you define your own, your own style kitu kama hiyo mm-hmm. uh, until you make it until you make uh, it practice until you make it practice by the way another thing yeah, practice yeah. ni kama hesabu mm. you remember we were practicing it yeah practice till you make it uh. yeah i remember countless time nilikuwa nashinda na microphone niki niki assume I'm in a very big tv station or radio mm-hmm. station doing yeah. the introduction and mm-hmm. all this mm-hmm. and uh, now i'm here mm-hmm. i can you can speak with those stuttering because there was a practice <laughs> and yet even though tunaenda kwa the biggest scene uh-huh. already there was practice so okay. there was a seed planted that uh-huh. is now beginning to grow so uliko nafanya kwa bedroom kwa nafanya kwa bedroom uh-huh. ah i record a lot of things there are time i was playing role play voice role play okay i'm one person but speaking two voices okay. like a conversation yeah eh kwa simu tu haiko uh-huh. microphone simu tu nani alikuwa na ku inspire my inspiration was being in a solitude place Inspiration is a talk of one too. I like solitude, so mm. ideas pop in in solitude. So solitude, unenda mali tu ka kama kwa kichaka hivi kwa forest. And just chill. Place quiet. Place quiet. Na apenda sana evening because I'm looking at the sunset. Mm. Now flow with the sunset. Mm. Closing chapter and opening chapter. Solitude helps people recover and discover who they are most of the time before you even find mentors because now it exposes you to you. Maji watu wanaogopa kujiongelesha. Eh una kaga kama mwenda. Watu wa goba kujiongelesha. Una kaga kama mwenda. In speaking to yourself na kusaidenga kuangalia your areas of weakness, strength. Uh, uh. Then when you find a mentor, you know where you are starting from. So speaking to yourself is like dreaming when you are asleep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is the dreaming okay? Yeah, dreaming is okay. Bora tu usikimbizwe. Usikimbizwe. Because I think dream is also speaking to yourself, eh? Yeah. Or thinking for yourself thinking out loud in i think dreaming is all a combination of different aspect uh-huh. yeah it's you maybe something you are postponing and it's now trying to tell you it's time because you cannot listen ukio kuinja uko busy it will find you in the sleep nini inafanya mtu a dream by the way it's all about combination of our thoughts and sometimes the demonic plan sometimes yeah. an attack yes. and sometimes god speaking to you in dreams in dreams because uh kuna place in the bible he said uh, once i've spoken twice i've spoken but mm. i've cons- confirmed it 
mm. in your sleep. Now that's he's speaking to you in a dream. Ah, <sighs> talking about God, there's one question before we wrap it up, eh? Mm-hmm. Define speaking in tongues. Speaking in tongues. Yes. <laughs> you get to see it, huh? <laughs> do I get to pick in a gamma podcast next or we want to finish it okay, here? to be continued to be continued <laughs> I think that should be a topic on its own because mgea yes. lisema ah ipasa na kuja kuniambia ra 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 if inakuwa ga ni vitu fulani watu utaja ma kila mtu wako tu na wazimu zake the best thing we'll do is refer it from the scripture because if anything is not in the bible yeah tupa nje but tukubaliane kitu moja watu rap watu ongea vituko tofauti mwingine ado remi paso mwingine si sijui ni nini vitu ni kama ana rap sijui ni nini tumeanza kuingia huko guys we've come to the end of the show for tonight and uh, we are looking forward for this next topic stay tuned hii yes. nakuja lazima to dissect this the speaking in tongue thing yes yes and if we need a professional yeah uh, Holy spirit is the professional that wambia the yes. reality so yeah stay tuned and thank you for staying tuned to this far and subscribe like share subscribe and if there's a question you want to ask the comment section is open this ah. guy is here and he'll always answer the question i'm also here and thank you for staying tuned What else you say? Peace. Thank Peace. you. Subscribe to Live Nation. Na kuna matisho unaona unapeana. Tishoes na kam brand merchandise na kam. Yeah. I'm still looking for a goods brand. Okay. Yeah. To sa, sa. provide them very quickly. We have uh-huh. our own. Uh-huh. And we are still working on some. Yeah, you've seen sound printers there. Yeah, uh-huh. that's one of our guy. He's working. He's the one who worked on my brand merchandise. Okay. And we are going to do more business because friend uh-huh. building friends uh-huh. until we make it. Yeah. Yeah. So Support. have a good uh, moment of time wherever you are. Thank yeah. you.